Minecraft 1.20 pre-release 6 has now released. This is a very small one, but before we jump to the changes, let's quickly jump over to Twitter because Minecraft have posted another teaser image for Minecraft 1.20. So over the last few days or weeks, Minecraft have slowly been teasing the update 20 by posting little tiny cinematic kind of uh, cartoony pictures. As you can see, there is one of them brushing sus sand, one of them finding a pottery shirt, and then de building a decorated pot. And they've slowly been teasing these. As you can see, a few days ago, they posted the bamboo wood set. Then a few days before that, they posted the actual camel. It seems like they're posting these every other day. And then I guess maybe these will end around the 30th. If these are leading up to the release date, the release date could come around the end of May. As I think there's about four more pictures they can post. Obviously, one being a sniffer, smithing templates, the cherry wood and then the piggling head and also maybe the chiseled bookshelves depending on how they do that but it should end around the 30th meaning if these are leading up to the release date that is when the release date hopefully should be announced let's first of all jump to the technical changes so ingredients in array form are now also allowed in the smithing uh, trim and smithing transform recipes on fields templates base and addition those fields also allow empty arrays which signalizes that the slot should be left empty so if you don't know what this means, the actual smithing template uses the three slots. They all accept arrays now. And if you use an empty array, it means that that slot should be left empty in the crafting table or the crafting recipe. So you can do something like this where you have a chess piece and a diamond and then it will output a slot right here if this one is empty. But you can also do it where you can have the chess piece empty and it will output something right there. So in data packs, you can now customize the actual recipes for smithing templates a little bit more if you do want to. The other actual change is the ID of random sequence is now an optional field. If no sequence name is given, loot is drawn using a random source. So sequences inside of loot tables is now not a field you have to enter if you leave it empty or if you don't enter it the loot will now be randomly picked which could be good in some cases if you always want random loot another technical change is in a few pre-releases ago minecraft made it so slots could use air as a empty slot they've now made it so the air slot cannot be used within data pack recipes no clue why, I'm guessing they found a bug with it that they can't fix in time, but you can no longer use the air as an empty slot within data pack recipes. Another bug was if you was actually crouched using the accessibility option and the sneak toggle. If you was to die while you had this toggle set to on, the actual player that kills you and other people in your world would see you as uncrouched even though you was crouched this should now be fixed and if you are killed while crouched using the toggle option you should still be crouched and everyone will see you as crouched when you respawn two more bugs is company names are still inconsistent in the credits and also thomas i have no clue how to pronounce that name is listed twice and misspelled in the credits so both of these should now be fixed as well and then the final bug we are going to mention that i have tested a few times and i can't seem to get it to work properly but it's apparently if you summon a ender dragon and kill it before you kill the one that spawned by world gen it would still actually create a portal that is not actually the case and i've killed quite a few ender dragons before killing the main one and no end gateway has opened so i don't exactly know what this bug means i don't know if maybe i'm reading it incorrectly or if the bug just hasn't been fixed how minecraft thought it was but that's it for this one as i did say it's a very small one so I'll see you guys in another one very soon. Bye.